I also crossed over to the West Coast where after that Biggie and Tupac beef, it was very hard yeah. for East Coast and West Coast to even get along and right. stuff. But I still made that transition and that change to be accepted on the West Side. You know, so I'm all, I'm only doing it for New York. You know, I'm letting them know it's all love from my end, and mm -hmm. all we doing is bringing positive music out there, we do, and though. we working. I so, shout out to Big Face, which is Game's brother. Mm -hmm. You know, I got I did my video right in front of Game's house, in front of their house. That was, was that amazing. The whole lot of money video? Yeah, whole lot nice. of money. Y'all could catch that on YouTube. ABS, whole lot of money. Yes. Shot that in Cali, and now I got a new song coming with him. We about to shoot a video this nice. year. You know, so I'm going back to Cali. Yes, and that, and then you just network, and then you get into the game. Yeah, yeah. That's yeah. the whole goal. I'm <laughs> going to Miami. I'm about to go to Miami. Um, before the summer, I got this song with this girl named Bree. Shout out to Bree. Yeah. You know, I went out there just on like uh for a mini vacation and stuff for somebody's birthday to go show them love, mm -hmm. and I just like got thirsty for the studio, so I hit up a studio in Florida. I called this female artist to meet me there, and we end up making a banger. Is it Bree Angela? Yeah, yeah there you go she does there have a go. very pretty voice thank you thank yeah. you so shout out to her she's you know she's about her shit she's working good and i told her listen to the track she had the track dated um done the same day nice we went to the studio knocked it out good to work with people like yeah that. yeah so the yeah. fire in her too no right wonder. so i showed her i said listen the song is hot i'm not gonna play with the song i'm gonna do a video for it i'm gonna push it serious got it you know how was it growing up in the bronx it was entertaining it was very exciting it was a struggle but um amazing at the same time because i went through an era that i appreciate going through like getting whipped by my grandmother you know getting cursed at by my family members and, and being so strict because it made me who i am today right you know a lot of these kids today they real loose with their mouth they don't respect their parents and no i'm glad i got the ass whippings i got when i was young because right. it, it made me more of a man Right. You know, and I respect women on top of that because my grandmother and my mother always made me respect that. Got it. You know, so growing up in the Bronx, it was fun, man. You know, fighting here and there. You get along. You get to have fun with what you have. You got to appreciate what you have. Yeah. You know, now in these days when Christmas come, kid want to be like, yo, I want the iPhone 10. Uh, yeah. Like yeah. back then it was here. This is your Christmas gift and yeah. that's it. <laughs> You know what I mean? If you don't play with that, then that's you ain't got you. no toys. Yeah, <laughs> yep. you fucked up. Definitely. You know? And then, so that's our, awesome to bring into your kids, too, because now yeah. you can instill, you know, the morals because we are losing the morale. Right. So I yeah. appreciate growing up the way I did. And I also just want to add a little change to it. So for whatever my parents couldn't afford and couldn't do for me, I'm going to adjust that for my son. But I'm going to also okay. show him he got to earn those things. It's like we we live in through, like, Bronx Hollywood with this one yeah, over here. Yeah, yeah, pretty Coming much. Coming here with the bottles of champagne, yeah. pop already like that's what's it. good yeah 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 <laughs> definitely like that's that's my lifestyle like you see growing up from a struggle it's like when you touch a dollar you gotta appreciate every dollar you touch and enjoy your money are you saving your you money know, I, listen i got a slogan <laughs> that i'm gonna give to y'all right now this is the key slogan save your money and one day your money's gonna save you that's right you feel me that is so right can you say that one more time save your money <laughs> and one day your money's gonna save you thank you and that's a fact guarantee you know what i'm saying i don't care what point of life you at if you saved a couple dollars when you get down in the drought somewhere you go to that stash i bet you that stash is going oh you. it's still there It'll yeah be there. yeah whether it's for whatever, food, uh, a new apartment that you got to move to, yep. whatever. You yep. know? So good. looking through your research or your bio, just observing you, Perry, as an artist, I know that Big Pun was one of your influences, right? Yes. And you're still connected with the team, right? Yes. And it's crazy because I only met him one time, but I felt like he was like a big brother in my family yeah. that I have forever. But I only met him one time. Really? That's how powerful his yeah, aura was. but exactly. Like... It was just so inspiring what he did that I was like, man, like, I would love to be with Terror Squad more because of what he was doing, yeah, yeah. you know? And, you know, I always kept that that motive. I'm on my Bronx shit, my New York mm -hmm. shit, my Boricua shit. Yes. I even had people say, yo, don't rep Boricua. Let them think you black. I'm like, nigga, you bugging. Why? Whoever told pun don't rep Boricua. But why would, why? Because I guess they want you to act black and act this way to be respected by a certain culture. Yeah. Like, I'm going to be me regardless. Yeah. I'm not. Latinos are on the bottom of the right. ladder. Yeah. Like, some people, 
they turn into puppets to make it fall in the game. Yeah, he's selling a soul. Right. I'm mm-hmm. always going to be me. You know, you could give me a certain advice and I take advice. Got but it. if I don't feel that the advice you've given me mm-hmm. falls strong and in my and what I'm doing, mm-hmm. I'm just gonna block it out. I heard you, but I'm still gonna do what I'm doing. That's the only way. You know what I'm saying? It's so, the only way. So yeah. who else who else influences you besides him? Um Nas, Jay Z. Yeah. Yes. Um, you know, I would say true life. Wow. Shout out to True Life and welcome home again. Cause like you see, that's the perfect example. Like, dude just came home, bounced back on his feet like this and yeah. Fly back to the video, back to the money. He got the motivation and inspiration. To, yep. It's so strong, you know. Yeah. So that's that's the way I carry myself. Like I take this shit serious. And you see, once he came home, he wasn't playing. Mm-hmm. He's back to it. He take it crap serious. That I love people like that. Those type of people motivate me. And your videos, they're nice. Thank you. And G, you know, right? G- I mean, yeah, Gil, Gil, Gil. Gil. Shout out to Gil videos. Very nice. I just want to separate myself from everybody else that's doing these hallway videos yeah. and sitting on one car right in front of their building like you know you're not hating no but of i got course you not. but <laughs> you know because you got to start somewhere but at the end yeah. of the day if i have what it takes to elevate and show you a different type of thing yeah. i'm gonna do that right. because i want to motivate my peoples from where i'm from yeah you know we from the ghetto so like as mm-hmm. soon as i got my first job i bought me infinity coupe g37 and mm-hmm. i came back to the block with it they like wow like, that's crazy. And I said, see, this Dangerous. is going to motivate you. Right. Because we from the same block. Right. You know, we the same it, you age. Exactly. Right. You know what I'm saying? So I just do it to motivate my people, and I hope that they pick up from it. I just put up a post the other day. I said, yo, why smoke all this exotic weed, pop all these bottles, refill all these hookahs, and you still don't got a car or your own place? That's right. So when I send out messages like that, it's not to diss you. It's just to wake you up as my people so you can understand that you're wasting money on garbage. Get something important The foundation. That's it. That's it. So I love the beats. Thank you. I love the flow. Thank you. It kind of brings me back to, I don't know, your voice kind of reminds, it doesn't remind me, but it's reminiscent of Nori, but making sense. I've heard that. I've heard that. And I loved freaking Nori. Whether he made sense or not. Shout out to Nori, shout out to Nori, the drink champs, you know what I'm saying? Ching, bang, Mike, boof. (laughs) Shout out to all y'all on that side. Yeah, 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 but that's my people's, you know, that's that's fair. So we have the new single release, Chase the Bag. Yes, yes, that's the new one right there. And the mixtape. Yes. Where's the at? Yes, I'm bringing it out. I'm bringing it out um, this month or in the mid um, February. You know what I'm saying? I'm just still perfecting everything. Yeah. So I got half of it all mastered already. Nice. I'm just mat. All the records are complete, but I'm just mastering everything one by one. And then I'm gonna have a listening party. Nice. You're more than welcome to Thank be there. Thank you. And um, it then we, me out. Thank yeah, you. then then we're gonna release that CD. You know, I like that. So Are chase the bag, yes, very. Um, chase the bag is featuring my boy Dollar and Perry, new members of Family Todd, mm-hmm. and um, I'm excited because I want to bring them out to the light so everybody can know them as well. You and know? Family Todd is the production. Yeah, it's the label. It's the family label. Todd okay. is the label. All right. Yes. Anybody else on that that? We would know. Um, well, new artists <laughs> are getting added, you know, here and there. So little by little, we just putting records together. And um, y'all will be seeing new artists soon. By the time the summer comes, you're going to see new singers, new rappers for Family Tie. You're going to see it all, you know? So what's the relationship with uh, Reef Hustle for the Godson? Um, see, these uh, are just P. Bronx, Bronx legends in my eyes for my era as you know just um what's up reef doing what they doing yeah Mm -hmm. i respect reef fred the god on p this is all people that work hard in the bronx and i want it whoever work hard in the bronx i want to be affiliated with you know like i don't want to hang around people that's just wasting their time so people like fred the god and reef hustle that believe in their craft and they out there doing positive things i like to be around people like that like my son another dude you know See, these is dudes I appreciate being around. Very empowering. So, you know, <laughs> I got the Bronx Anthem put together, which is featuring Oom P, Fred the God, and Hocus 4 Fifth. You know, these is dudes in the Bronx that really rep for their shit like hard. I like Hocus 4 Fifth. Yeah, he's definitely good. And he had just came home, so it was like, yo, bro, you just came home. Jump on this record and get right back to it. Thirst, yeah. You know, so um, we all in the loop. And, you know, I just want to show unity. 
basically instead of like me trying to be greedy and make it my, myself yeah i'd rather you know reach out to the fellow members in the bronx like yo come support me i'll support you and carry on like so through my following of him because i've been following him for some time now probably like a year and a half believe it or not um we just never connected but i've been i've been watching and i saw that you had an opportunity with love and hip-hop and yeah. i'm sitting there yeah. and i'm like please don't do it please <laughs> don't do it because i know that they would just put you into mess yeah. and it just wouldn't it probably give you exposure but not the best exposure and right now the right. the part you would have had was what where james seniors um came? james are they was trying james to R, they I'm was sorry. trying to get I'm me sorry. to come in to say that um i got mariah lynn pregnant that i was Messy. gonna be hungry. man yeah and i was like you know what i'm gonna just fall back because oh, uh, a lot of issues happened behind that that, that <laughs> didn't let it happen really yeah you know, okay yeah so you know. was that something you did want to do like the producers came to you um, was it like word of mouth one, one of the producers we know you know i wouldn't put him on blast because i don't want everybody reaching out to him trying to get on love and hip-hop but at the end of the day we definitely <laughs> spoke he gave me the scoop he told me what i needed to do if i was going to get on and um you know we thought about it and you know we just didn't go with it you know right. it was too much problems in my circle for me to do that and do you feel like you made the right choice by seeing the season now? I well, I still don't know because honestly, a check is a check. But how much I would, was the check for? Is it worth? Well, it? the numbers wasn't spoke about yet unless I got involved. Oh, that's you know. So but, you have, wait, wait, wait. So that, by being involved means you signing a contract first, right? Right, and then you you seeing your dollar signs right there. And then what happens if you don't like the dollar sign? Then what happens? Well, You're then stuck in that, it. That's no, that's your option. Basically, they tell you what it is and they give you the contract and say this is what you signing in for. Got it. You know, they had mm -hmm. just gave me the plot, the story of what I would be doing. And then if I said yes, then it was the sit down of, all right, well, this is how much you're going to get. You know, so I was involved in that. And then the um, L.A. one.